Zero FXB, welcome back to the channel. Kwashiung UV K5 K6 radios. These ones are pre-modified. I bought them several months ago. Not use them that often, but they do actually work. You know, they, they will go on to the lower HF bands. And so the other day I turned this one on because even though I've got lots of radios, I do tend to turn them on and just, just tinker with them um, as I feel. Yeah. This one it made by the same, you know, modified by the same person. Um, but this one just doesn't come on. And, and I haven't changed anything. Um, so I just thought, you know, the obvious thing is swap the battery. Nothing happened, makes no difference. Then the other one is, because believe it or not, if you take the battery off, and I'll just show you now, like so, and grab your USB, it will actually come on. So let's do it. See? It does come on. I don't know if I recommend transmitting like that, but anyway, it does come on. So if we get the faulty one, obviously I've already swapped the battery, but we'll do it again, just for show. Like so, nothing happening. The obvious one is, well, it could be the pins, yeah? But the pins are fine, because it's basically a brand new radio, yeah? So then you think, okay, what can we rule out? Um, and I noticed that the, USB-C is not in line there, it's slightly out. So anyway, USB-C in, nothing happens, it's turned on. So let's take this apart. Now these are one of the easiest radios to take apart, literally. Uh, there's no screws. You pull off the volume knob there, on off. You normally wouldn't have this, of course, so just make sure, because I had a nut here, but normally you wouldn't have this, okay? So just like so, and then these are not, you don't have to undo these because they're under the plastic. So then all you do is get something in that gap and just lift it up, yeah? Uh, so we'll just get a small thin screwdriver. Literally just that. Just be careful you don't stab yourself with a screwdriver. Now normally you could just lift it and then all I'm, I'm trying to be careful, I just remember that modified antenna doesn't get... get and the way that this uh, modification has been done, instead of having to hack the board, yeah, pushing that down like so, they, if you look here, let's turn it round. Oh, the, the, look out for the plastic side bits there. Turn it over like so. Um, instead, of, instead of having to hack the board, they've, on the SI4732 chip here, Okay, uh, they've bought one that's got this antenna connector, which then leads to this. Um, you can see that the speakers just solder on here. I've snapped them a few times. So what I'm trying to look at is what is missing that would normally power this radio. Um, uh, and so I'm going to have a close look and then and then let you know if I find anything. So, so far I've got, a, I see this blue LED here. Okay. And I can hear a very slight whine. You can't hear it, I don't think, but there's a very slight whine in the background. So something's definitely shorting there. Okay, screws off. There's five screws here. There's one, two, three, four, and then one in the middle. But annoyingly, there's a couple of solder joins there. They might actually be the cause. That's the problem. But still, it's on. Blue light's on. And then nothing is happening. So Electro Banana is very good at this. If you can see anything obvious, an obvious short there, I mean, not a short that's caused by me, but look at that, that looks quite messy, doesn't it? Just there. You know, none of this soldering was done by me, by the way. Quite messy, isn't it? And, but the other one does work. So if anyone can see anything obvious that I could do, let me know. I'm going to keep tinkering mine. Don't you worry. You know what I'm like. I don't mind if I break it. I have, as you know. I have a spare. Anyway, bye for now. All the best.